expecting this to be a great night of action. He's so attentive when it comes to this moment here. This is where everything he's done, all the hard work he's put in, comes down to one singular moment of concentration. He's approaching the ring now, and this ring walk can tell you so much. Look at the focus on his face. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. underway here we've been talking in the lead up to this fight about who has the advantage with the speed well we know who that is as for his opponent well his opponent's gonna have to come up with something else and what he's gonna have to come up with is timing you know timing can negate speed how so well just making sure that you time him. you beat him to the mark you're not as fast as him but guess what the good news this is not a sprint this is a boxing match you can beat him to the mark all intents and purposes, you're faster. Not able to land the uppercut. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Let it go. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Well timed, well placed uppercut there. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Teddy, explain this to me. Hey, this fighter was just staggered and stunned. Now all of a sudden he's defending beautifully. Yeah, because he's on instincts now. Before he was thinking, he was overthinking. That happens out in life in a lot of places. And now he's not. Now just naturally, instinctively, survival mode is there. He's doing all the things, Joe, that he was taught in the gym. Things he couldn't do before because he was worried about doing them. He had too many things clogging his head. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Off the mark. Able to show you his blocking ability. Do that again. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Final 10 seconds of round number one. And this round comes to an end. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas ringside. I'm just looking up at the corner here at this guy that just got tagged, Teddy, this fighter who just got stunned. And I'm thinking, boy, it's like the air's come out of him a bit. He looks just so dejected now. Yeah, you know, right now he's on the side of a mountain. You know, he's up on a cliff, and he needs a rope to get down. So that's what you got to do, Joe. You don't look and say, hey, he's up on a cliff. We know that. Give him a rope. Give him advice to get down. You're okay. 
Breathe for me. Now listen, you threw a wide punch and he caught you. Tighten up your punches, all right? It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rearview mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. You got this one. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Listen, everybody likes to see a great knockout shot to the chin. But truth be told, at this stage of a fight, the foundation for winning comes by going downstairs. It's just like the old timers would say, Joe. You kill the body, the head will follow. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Halfway through this round here. You need to block more. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Now he's telling us everything you need to know about what his condition is. We saw him stunned earlier in this fight. Now the clinching. Yeah, this is a true polygraph test for a fighter. He's telling you the truth. I don't feel right. It's up to his opponent now to take advantage of that. He just missed that shot up top. Ten clicks of the talk. Well, he's committed to the left hand, and it's paying off here. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bit. He's confident. And round number three is underway. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. was just off the mark, able to dismiss it. Great movement to get away from those punches. Good left hand able to land. A good block. See, 
See how he targets that hook? Able to cover up that gut. Took a shot, now he gives a left. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Oh, and there you go. And he is down. He is down for the first time tonight. Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. <laughs> Protecting his head well with his guard. work from both men. They each got a shot in. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Blocks that punch. And the round comes to an end. Working good. He's tired. Look at him. He's so tired. He's, tired. He's got nothing left. All right, deep breath. Get some water. You're good. You're okay. Breathe for me. Now listen. You threw a white punch, and he caught you. Right? This is a fairly competitive, tight fight. The difference being, of course, we did have a knockdown scored as you look at Teddy's scorecard. And that's what professional boxing is about, putting fannies in the seats. The harder puncher, the guy who's more effective, the guy who puts more hurt on you, gets the round. That's what I want to see. Keep moving, keep moving. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Solid shot, the left hand came in. Stunned, but all of a sudden now, surviving. Well, Teddy, you get in a spot like this, and everybody has their eyes on the fighter who was just knocked down in the last round. What do you look for? What tells you right away that you know what his status is? Well, it's two things. The easiest one is the legs, Joe. I want to see if they're steady, if they're firm, if he's okay. But the next thing is his personality, believe it or not. It's kind of like when you go out to a bar with someone, they have a few drinks, and all of a sudden they're a different person. You know they're drunk. Well, I want to see whether or not my fight is drunk. If he starts rushing at the guy, he starts acting in a way that he's never acted before, I know it's time to pull the plug. Got this one. He missed with that headshot. Halfway through round number four. And he's holding. Fires off the hook. Look at that. Oh, 
Just not there. Straight right hand off the mark. Face yourself! Seconds remaining in this round. That punch just close. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive, you know that he had a good round. So a new round is underway here, but will it be just where we left off? Remember, the bell rang in that last round to keep this fight going. He was taking a beating. Yeah, well, I hope that he watched some Houdini movies. I really do, because he's going to have to do a Houdini to get out of this. Looking good. That shot unable to land. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. This is brilliant defense we're seeing here every which way. Blocking punches, moving well, parrying punches away. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Now he has to connect the offense a little bit better. Plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Missed targeted. well after being hit himself. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. That's it, just like that. Go, go! And he just holds on there. Just missed with that punch. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. Blocks that punch. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chomping at the bid. He's confident. You have to go out and get this guy. Look, you're standing straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body more. 
Teddy, what do you think here as we start this round? I mean, you watch what he did in that last round, and you got to think that he can get himself back into this fight. Well, he is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. <laughs> Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job of defending himself. You know, it's a funny thing. He's fighting on instincts, and sometimes that's a good thing. You don't want to get hurt to get there, but you want to get there. Right now he's doing things without thinking, naturally. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he Keep can moving. counter him. Keep moving! <laughs> Needs to improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. And he returns on that exchange. Halfway through round six. moment here is you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science not just some raw savagery swinging out there look at the little subtleties here joe what he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch and then when he stops steps back makes see. a miss and comes right back good left there oh you're doing great Boy, some of the old school guys would really appreciate this, wouldn't they, Teddy? Just great upper body movement, so elusive up top. Yeah, this is an example like they used to say in old days. He stands right in front of you, and you can't hit him in the backside with a handful of bulk shot. Well, he's throwing it, but just missed. Isn't landing it. You got this one. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. Keep your hands up. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Don't get lazy. You're winning this fight. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Solid straight right hand. That was off the mark. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. That hook was well off the mark. Blocks that punch. Look at that! What a 
turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think he's just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did get it. He got it. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. That wasn't able to land. He's tired. He's tired. Had his target in mind, but just missed. Wow, is he defensively sound. Completely missing with that punch. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, ten seconds to go. And round seven comes to an end. Right here. Come on, relax. Relax. Shake it out. Shake it out. Keep it up. Keep it up. That's it now. Nice workout. Keep fighting smart and keep busy. Don't take a break with these guys. That was good. You took a lot out of him that round. I'm always interested in how a fighter's disposition can change during the course of a fight. And as we start round number eight here, you see that he is up. But all it takes is a little momentum to build against him, and this thing could turn around. Well, the real testing of a fighter, the real testing of a professional is what they can do late. Can they keep it up, or do they become satisfied? We're going to find out right now how this guy is in those areas. So here he is again, missing more punches. Now... I like a guy that throws punches, Teddy, but at some point, you got to do more than that. Yeah, I tell you right now, if he was a carpenter, I would not have him coming in doing my kitchen cabinets because he'd be just cutting up a lot of wood, you know, and it'd be all over the place. But I wouldn't have the bookshelves. I wouldn't have the cabinets that I want. I would, I'd have a mess. And right now, this fight's getting messy. Keep moving. Keep moving. Now hugging on the inside. Pace yourself. Come on, kid. Focus. Uppercut. 90 seconds to go. Halfway through round eight. Now he ties up there. able to land the headshot. He's showing very good footwork. He's showing fine defensive movement here. But as for the opponent, how do you solve that? Well, you got to make believe you're a football player. You got to make believe you're hard charging with that right hand. Big, big shot he just scored with. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. <laughs> down 
down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. That's it, I see this. That's it. I need another round just like that, all right? You're doing good. Keep it up. He's up. He's tired. He's got nothing left, okay? Relax, relax, relax. You just you gotta relax. You gotta move out there. All right, move, move, move. Okay, keep moving. Breathe now, breathe. You good? We can recoup from that knockdown. Let's go, come on. As we start a new round, Teddy, this seems basically hopeless for him. He's been knocked down numerous times tonight. Well, you never know. I mean, you go back to the 1980 Olympics, and of course, you have that great call. Do you believe in miracles? But only thing, nobody was punching that hockey team in the face. but he gives one of his own a left hand scores <laughs> unload unload more punches no, his opponent got away from that uppercut blocks the headshot he's got that certain something that's a well acquired skill in this craft of boxing and that is superb defense, and it's on target tonight. It is. The old-timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing, is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part, is letting your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. Keep going! Halfway through the ninth round, unable to... Wow, what a turnaround. You never know what's going to happen in this game. You're never supposed to take anything for granted, never assume anything. They tell you that in life. In the ring, you get taught that real fast. He got caught by a big shot. Finish with a hook. <laughs> Solid. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Does it unable to beat the count of 10 a knockout in the books for the official particulars we send it up to our ring announcer That's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.